Daily Minutes of Sunday, August 30, 2015. This is Peter John of Emergency Radio. Today's bulletin is completely in English. Today we have a mix of news from the US, the UK and Australia. We will also repeat our MFSK 64 data at 1000 Hz from yesterday. MFSK 64 at 1000 Hz. With the deadline to submit proposals to World Radio Communication Conference 2015 now less than two months away, it's still unclear how at least one agenda item of importance to the amateur radio community will fare. That is agenda item 1.4, which calls on the delegates to consider a secondary amateur radio allocation at 5 MHz, or 60 meters. In the U.S. and in most other countries where amateurs have privileges there, ham radio has a set of fixed channels at 5 MHz, not necessarily the same from one country to the next. As ARRL Chief Technology Officer Brennan Price, N4QX, explained last spring following the second conference preparatory meeting, Agenda Item 1.4 proposals at the meeting were all over the map, ranging from no change to an expansive allocation of 5275 to 5450 kHz with explicit suggestions of 50 15 kilohertz and 100 kilohertz in between, and a few methods with details to be filled in later. As Price summarized at the time, there is a wide divergence of opinion and no certainty as to the outcome. After floating off the coast of Chile, Pico Balloon PS49 from VK3 has been lost due to bad weather. It was brought down near South America after a week of tracking. Meantime, the earlier balloon PS48, launched on August 8, reached Brazil but a suspected antenna fault has since made tracking virtually impossible. The latest, PS50, put up on Sunday, August 23, headed well south of New Zealand, then across the international date line, and at last report was likely heading for South America. The IARU have announced they are committed to only coordinate satellite frequencies within the internationally aligned IARU band plans. The 2-meter amateur band is one of the most popular and populated bands in all the spectrum allocated to the amateur and amateur satellite services. This recently led to a request by satellite builders for coordination outside the spectrum reserved for satellites in the IARU band plans of 145.800 through 145. 46.000, as not enough channels are available to satisfy their requirements. The IARU satellite advisor, ZS6AKV, and his advisory panel are mandated to coordinate frequencies within the IARU band plans for amateur satellites. Coordinated frequencies must comply with band plans that are common to all three IARU regions. Satellites coordinated outside these plans could cause interference to terrestrial amateur operations in other regions. The IARU will not coordinate frequencies for satellites which are planned to operate outside the internationally aligned IARU band plans for amateur satellites. Following representations from the Hungarian National Society, the Hungarian Telecoms Regulator, NMHH, has been issuing temporary permits for operation in the band 5.350 to 5.450 MHz on a secondary basis for propagation research. The permits are valid for three months and can be reapplied for at the conclusion of the period. All modes are permitted with a maximum power of 100 watts, currently in a normal maximum bandwidth of 3 kHz. Activity days are being organised and there is a CW beacon on 5.357 MHz at present using the call sign Hotel Alpha 7 Sierra Oscar, but this will change in due course to Hotel Golf 7 Bravo Hotel Bravo. It is hoped the situation may become more permanent later in the year. South Sussex Raynet Group, assisted by members of South Kent Raynet, provided communication support for the organisers and the user services at Shoreham Air Show when a Hawker Hunter aircraft crashed during a flying display. Our thoughts are with those who offered their services as well as the family and friends of those involved. <laughs> 